Arthur was driven to art. <laughs> this is my art. Arthur is my subject, and I must get him right. And I can, but only through you. What's your point? You are beautiful. I'm charmed. Arthur is fortunate. Thank you. What's your point, Block? <laughs> <laughs> What's your relationship with your mother and father? It'll do. You don't care to talk about it? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to stray away from my purpose here. You know what I think? I think Arthur beat you at your own game. I think anybody takes this job you got likes to sit behind a glass and feel smug. Something in Arthur beat you four square and completely. Six years of trying and you come up empty. So you just reach across the legal line, break your own rules and snatch his socks. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur sees that as you having the strength. But I see it for what it is, defeat. Arthur has defeated you. <laughs> and now you're trying one last game at somehow through me to ace him. Well, good luck. I never get people like you in my office. No surprise there. <laughs> Not that I shouldn't. You're pitiful. You're like an old dog who'll get off the foot of the bed. <laughs> you should get out more. Well, I intend to. Well, don't wait too long. <laughs> Give me the socks, Bob. You don't like me. No. You don't <laughs> like my company? You're not company. I don't pay for company. And if I did, it ain't you. <laughs> what don't you like about me? You're boring. Well, you're seeing me within a certain context. <laughs> I'm seeing you just fine. You're a gold-plated snooze. <laughs> Heard it all before, seen it all before, right? Who oh, said I want to do this twice? You are beautiful. Well, beautiful, then you'll ever know, Frankenstein. <laughs> you can kiss my foot. How can you say that? You don't even know me. I'm a witch. <laughs> <laughs> You're a certain brand of ball breaker and a very particular kind of lich. I have a sister in Michigan who might fall for your jabber. <laughs> But even she wouldn't get past your mediocre look. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a street fight with me, baby, you better get yourself a knife. Now, I suggest before I say something that sticks in your bile ducts for the rest of your life, you surrender the foot. 